Hello everyone! Welcome back to Medley of Fun. Today I am going to be doing a super cool science experiment and it is called Elephant's Toothpaste. And now I will show you guys the items you will need to make this. You will need a two liter plastic bottle, half a cup of 20 or 30 volume hydrogen peroxide. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. We got it at Sally Beauty, but if you don't have one of those, you can get it at your local beauty supply store. You will also need one packet of dry yeast. three tablespoons of warm water, one tablespoon of liquid dish soap, and eight to 10 drops of food coloring. I'm using pink, but you can use any color you want. Now I am going to start making the elephant's toothpaste because I'm so excited to make it. The first thing you want to do is put your half a cup of hydrogen peroxide in the bottle. And a funnel helps so that you do not spill it all over. <laughs> Next, put your liquid dish soap. The next thing you need to do is put your food coloring in. I do not need the funnel for that. I also forgot to tell you guys earlier, but you might want to use a pan if you're doing this experiment inside because it is going to overflow. That was eight drops. The next thing you need to do is add your dry yeast into your three tablespoons of warm water and mix it very, very well. I think it's mixed well enough. Now I'm going to add it to the bottle. It looks so cool. I love the color. And it smells pretty good too. <laughs> It is, the bottle is very hot. That is so cool looking. <laughs> what you just saw was a chemical reaction. Yeast is added to hydrogen peroxide to make the hydrogen peroxide break down very quickly. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down into oxygen and water. The oxygen quickly pushes out of the container. The soapy water traps the oxygen, creating bubbles, and turns into foam. And here is a fun fact. All of the little bubbles are full of oxygen. I think that is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please comment down below if you would like to see more science experiments and if you liked this science experiment, I really did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please ring the bell and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!